A parent posted a student's math homework on the internet and it went viral. Now that third grade homework is ignited the debate over common core standards. It was intended to help kids visualize what they're learning, but it is not being well received. How would you answer this third grade math question? What is five times three? This student wrote five plus five plus five equals 15. And the teacher marked it wrong. Not because of the answer, but the way the student got there, indicating the student should have also added five threes. Confused? You're not alone. And this test gone viral has sparked the common core conversation again. So they want you to use the upside down birthday cake method, which I learned. Denise Hanley is a former teacher who now works as a private tutor. For her, keeping up with all the new math methods is like going back to school. I absolutely had to relearn a lot of things, or not even just relearn, but just learn in general these new methods that I had never learned before. Even parents are being asked to take classes to help kids with their homework. And when my kids need help, um, I'm unable to help them, which is very frustrating. This new math is a response to the Common Core State Standards Initiative launched in 2009 by the National Governors Association and now in use in 42 states. The focus? More on less on memorization with standards more relevant to the real world. As uh, the information age continues to blossom, kids are going to need those sets of skills. So, you know, we're really preparing kids for a future that, that isn't here yet. Not everyone agrees. Here's the problem with Common Core. And now the debate over Common Core is spilling into the political arena with some supporting it, others calling for it to be dismantled. Love it or hate it, Common Core is the new math at least for now. And the latest annual national testing of fourth and eighth grade math skills just released this week shows a decline in scores for the first time in 25 years. But so that is not keeping up with the more rigorous standards of common core. So the debate goes on.